The creation of the 1942 movie, Keeper of the Flame, involved a fascinating casting process. Producer Samuel Goldwyn sought out Spencer Tracy, a well-known actor for the leading role. Goldwyn believed Tracy's charisma and talent would bring depth to the complex character. Meanwhile, the search for the female lead was equally important. Catherine Hepburn, who had previously worked with Tracy, was a strong contender. However, their on-screen chemistry in previous films raised concerns about their real-life relationship overshadowing the story. To test their compatibility for this specific project, a private screening of their earlier film together was arranged. The result? The chemistry was undeniable, and Hepburn was cast as the female lead. Richard Horff, known for his work in theater, was chosen for a supporting role. His background in stage acting proved valuable in creating a convincing performance. Interestingly, he was also responsible for the film's art direction, showcasing his versatility. As for the rest of the cast, they were selected based on their ability to contribute to the overall narrative. Auditions focused on finding actors who could embody the spirit of their characters and enhance the film's exploration of power, politics, and personal relationships. Chemistry tests played a crucial role in determining the right cast. Scenes were rehearsed multiple times to ensure natural interactions among actors. These tests helped establish the dynamics between characters, contributing to the film's authenticity. In the end, the cast of Keeper of the Flame proved to be a perfect blend of talent and chemistry. Each actor brought something unique to their role, creating a captivating and thought-provoking film that continues to resonate with audiences today. In 1942, George Cukor, an established director known for his meticulous attention to detail, took on the task of directing Keeper of the Flame. The film, a mystery drama, revolves around a journalist's investigation into the life of a deceased political hero. Cukor's directorial vision was deeply rooted in his belief that performances should be natural and unrestrained. He often worked closely with his actors, conducting extensive rehearsals and encouraging improvisation. For Keeper of the Flame, he cast Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn, both renowned for their acting prowess. Cukor's collaboration with them was a testament to his ability to bring out the best in his cast. Cukor's style was characterized by his emphasis on character development and dialogue. He believed that a film's strength lay in its ability to engage audiences emotionally, and he achieved this through his nuanced direction and focus on performance. In Keeper of the Flame, this approach is evident in the complex relationships between the characters and the intricate unfolding of the plot. Cukor was also influenced by the socio-political climate of the time. Keeper of the Flame was released during World War II, and the film's exploration of political heroism and public persona reflects the concerns of the era. Cukor's direction skillfully navigates these themes, creating a film that is as relevant today as it was then. In bringing Keeper of the Flame to life, Cukor collaborated closely with the film's crew. He worked closely with cinematographer Robert Plank to create a visual style that complemented the film's narrative. The result is a visually striking film that is as engaging to watch as it is to ponder. In summary, George Cukor's directorial vision for Keeper of the Flame was characterized by his emphasis on character development, natural performances, and socio-political relevance. His collaborative approach and meticulous attention to detail resulted in a film that has stood the test of time. Let's talk about the 1942 movie, Keeper of the Flame. Did you know that this film was initially intended to be a vehicle for Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn, but the script went through so many rewrites that it ended up being a completely different story? The movie follows the story of a journalist, played by Tracy, who becomes interested in the life of a deceased political hero. He interviews the man's widow, played by Hepburn, and uncovers some shocking secrets about the hero's past. One interesting fact about this movie is that it was one of the first films to tackle the topic of fascism in America. The screenwriter, Donald Ogden Stewart, was actually blacklisted during the Red Scare in the 1950s for his leftist political views. As for my favorite actor in this movie, I have to go with Spencer Tracy. He had a remarkable ability to convey so much emotion and depth with just a simple look or gesture. Do you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor or a most cherished memory related to Keeper of the Flame? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. And stay tuned because there are still many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about this movie. Keep watching! In the early 1940s, the movie Keeper of the Flame graced the silver screen, captivating audiences with its gripping storyline and impressive production. The set design was a true spectacle, transporting viewers to a bygone era. 
The film's locations were carefully selected to enhance the narrative, with grand mansions and quaint towns playing pivotal roles. The movie's production team faced numerous logistical challenges. For instance, recreating the opulence of a grand mansion required meticulous attention to detail. Set designers left no stone unturned, from crafting intricate moldings to sourcing authentic period furniture. The result was a set that was not only visually stunning but also historically accurate. Another challenge was filming in various locations. The crew had to ensure seamless transitions between scenes shot in the studio and those captured on location. This required careful planning and coordination, as well as the ability to adapt to unforeseen circumstances, such as inclement weather. Despite these challenges, the production team employed innovative techniques to enhance the film's quality. For instance, they used early special effects to create realistic explosions and other action sequences. This was no small feat, given the technology available at the time. Moreover, the film's cinematography was groundbreaking. The use of high contrast lighting and dramatic camera angles added depth and emotion to the scenes, elevating the film beyond a simple narrative. In all, the production of Keeper of the Flame was a testament to the ingenuity and hard work of the film industry. The set design, locations, and innovative techniques used all contributed to a classic film that continues to resonate with audiences today. In 1942, a film called Keeper of the Flame made its debut, leaving a lasting impression on its audience. The movie, directed by George Cukor, features a talented cast including Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn. The story revolves around a journalist, played by Tracy, who becomes intrigued by the life of a recently deceased political hero. As he delves deeper into the man's past, he discovers a web of secrets and lies that challenge the hero's legacy. Hepburn plays the widow who, despite her initial reluctance, helps Tracy uncover the truth. The film is set against the backdrop of a small town, which serves as a microcosm of the larger society. The town's residents, each with their own secrets and agendas, add depth and complexity to the story. Keeper of the Flame is a thought-provoking exploration of hero worship and the dangers of blindly following idols. It challenges the audience to question the motives and actions of those in power and to seek the truth, even when it is hidden behind a facade of perfection. The film's themes are still relevant today, making it a classic worth watching. The talented cast and compelling story make for an engaging and memorable experience. If you're looking for a film that will make you think and question, Keeper of the Flame is a great choice. The creation of the score and soundtrack for Keeper of the Flame was a collaborative effort between composer Roy Webb and musical director C. Bakalanikov. The music they crafted plays a crucial role in setting the narrative's tense and suspenseful tone. Roy Webb, an experienced film composer, skillfully employed a full orchestra to create a rich and layered score. He used various musical themes to represent different characters and ideas, enhancing the film's emotional depth. For instance, a haunting melody signifies the mysterious past of the central character, while a more uplifting tune represents the idealistic journalist. C. Bakalinikov, known for his work on numerous classic films, conducted the orchestra during recording sessions. His meticulous attention to detail ensured that the music perfectly complemented each scene's emotional tone, be it tension, drama, or romance. Webb's innovative use of leitmotifs, recurring musical ideas associated with specific characters or themes, added cohesion to the score. For example, a motif associated with the main character appears in various forms throughout the film, reflecting her evolution and growth. The soundtrack also features several popular songs from the 1940s, carefully chosen to resonate with the film's setting and themes. These songs not only provide period authenticity, but also serve as a backdrop for some of the film's most poignant moments. In crafting the score and soundtrack for Keeper of the Flame, Webb and Bakalinikov demonstrated their deep understanding of how music can elevate a film's narrative and emotional impact. Their work remains a testament to the power of well-executed film music. In the film Keeper of the Flame, Forrest Tucker plays the role of Brooke Tucker's father. Howard De Silva, known for his portrayal of Benjamin Franklin in various productions, also stars in this classic. Katherine Hepburn, who holds the record for the longest gap between her first and second Best Actress Oscar wins, is another notable actor in the movie. She won her first Oscar for Morning Glory in 1933 and her second for Guess Who's Coming to Dinner in 1967, a gap of 34 years. Her last acting Oscar came 48 years after her first, for On Golden Pond in 1981. 
Da Silva's portrayal of Franklin was not limited to the movie version of 76. He also played the role in the original Broadway production and in a National Park Service film presented at Franklin Court, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the 70s and the 70s, 80s. One of the most iconic scenes in Keeper of the Flame is when the main character, Stephen O'Malley, played by Spencer Tracy, discovers a hidden room in the mansion of the late hero, Robert Forrest. As O'Malley enters the room, the camera follows him, showcasing the dimly lit space filled with memorabilia and newspaper clippings about Forrest's life. The director, George Cukor, masterfully builds tension in this scene through the use of low-key lighting and shadowy cinematography. The darkness of the room creates an eerie atmosphere, hinting at the secrets that lie within. Cukor's decision to keep the room dimly lit adds to the intrigue and draws the audience in, making them feel as if they are uncovering the secrets alongside O'Malley. Spencer Tracy's performance in this scene is also noteworthy. His character's curiosity and determination are palpable as he sifts through the various items in the room. Tracy's subtle facial expressions and body language convey O'Malley's growing realization of the truth about Forrest's heroic image. Cukor himself spoke about the importance of this scene, stating, it's a pivotal moment in the film, where the audience learns that the hero they've been idolizing isn't who they thought he was. It's a powerful moment, and we wanted to make sure we got it just right. The impact of this scene on the audience is significant. It challenges the notion of hero worship and encourages viewers to question the motives and actions of those in power. The scene is a testament to the film's enduring themes of truth, power, and manipulation. Another iconic scene in Keeper of the Flame is the final confrontation between O'Malley and Forrest's widow, Christine Forrest, played by Katherine Hepburn. The tension between the two characters is palpable as they engage in a heated debate about the truth behind Robert Forrest's heroic image. Cukor's use of close-ups in this scene adds to the intensity of the exchange. The camera focuses on the characters' faces, highlighting their emotions and reactions. The use of shadows and low-key lighting also adds to the dramatic effect, creating a sense of foreboding and tension. Hepburn's performance in this scene is remarkable. Her character's desperation and fear are evident in her facial expressions and body language. Her portrayal of Christine's struggle to maintain her husband's heroic image while also grappling with the truth is both powerful and heart-wrenching. Huker spoke about the importance of this scene, stating, it's the climax of the film where the two main characters come face to face with the truth. It's a powerful moment, and Catherine and Spencer both brought their game. The impact of this scene on the audience is significant. It challenges the notion of hero worship and encourages viewers to question the motives and actions of those in power. The scene is a testament to the film's enduring themes of truth, power, and manipulation. Catherine Hepburn, known for her double-A first name, was particular about its spelling. She once starred in a film called Keeper of the Flame alongside Spencer Tracy. When Tracy needed a break, he would return to Milwaukee, where finding him became quite the challenge for Hepburn due to the city's numerous bars. In this classic, Van Johnson played a significant role. Interestingly, on his way to a special screening of Keeper of the Flame, he was involved in a road accident that left him with a metal plate in his forehead. This incident didn't stop him from continuing his acting career, and his performance in the film remains noteworthy. Released in 1942, Keeper of the Flame left a lasting impression on audiences, contributing to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The film, starring Katherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy, explored the dangers of fascism and the importance of democratic values during a time of global uncertainty. As the film unfolded, viewers were captivated by the story of a journalist, played by Tracy, who investigates the mysterious death of a prominent public figure, only to uncover a hidden world of extremist beliefs. Hepburn's character, the widow of the deceased, struggles with her own guilt and the revelation of her husband's dark secrets. The movie resonated with audiences who were grappling with the rise of totalitarian regimes in Europe and the threat of war. It served as a cautionary tale, reminding viewers of the importance of remaining vigilant against the dangers of fascism and the value of upholding democratic principles. Keeper of the Flame also had a significant impact on popular culture. The film's exploration of journalistic ethics and the role of the media in shaping public opinion was particularly influential. The movie's themes of power, manipulation, and the importance of truth telling continue to be relevant today as journalists and media outlets grapple with issues of credibility and accuracy. Moreover, the film's depiction of strong female characters was groundbreaking for its time, 
Hepburn's character, in particular, was a complex and nuanced portrayal of a woman grappling with her own identity and the legacy of her husband. This representation of female agency and autonomy was a departure from traditional gender roles and helped pave the way for more diverse and dynamic portrayals of women in film. In addition, Keeper of the Flame contributed to discussions on social and cultural themes, such as the role of the individual in society and the importance of community engagement. The film's exploration of the tension between personal ambition and the greater good resonated with audiences who were facing similar challenges in their own lives. In conclusion, Keeper of the Flame left a lasting impact on audiences, influencing pop culture and contributing to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The film's exploration of fascism, journalistic ethics, and female agency remains relevant today and continues to inspire and challenge viewers. In the film Keeper of the Flame, released in 1942, two accomplished actors take the lead. Spencer Tracy, voted the 19th greatest movie star of all time by Premiere Magazine, delivers a powerful performance. Tracy's background in drama began at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, class of 1923, where he honed his skills. On the other side, Katherine Hepburn showcases her talent in this classic. Hepburn's affiliation with New York's Radio City Music Hall remains unmatched. From 1933 to 1942, 17 consecutive films of hers graced the theater screen, starting with Christopher Strong. This run included the movie Keeper of the Flame, where Hepburn's performance left a lasting impression. Keeper of the Flame, a 1942 movie, received mixed reviews from critics. The New York Times critic, Bosley Crowther, praised the film's seriousness and ambition, stating that it touches a nerve of contemporary reality. However, he criticized the film's overemphasis on melodrama and its star-crossed lover's subplot. The film's audience reactions were also mixed. Some praised the film's exploration of political corruption and the dangers of fascism, while others found it slow-paced and preachy. The film's themes of political intrigue and the importance of journalistic integrity resonated with audiences during World War II. Keeper of the Flame received one award nomination for Best Original Story at the 1943 Academy Awards. While the film did not win, the nomination recognized the movie's unique and thought-provoking story. These accolades are significant for those involved in the film, as they highlight the movie's impact and cultural relevance. The nomination for Best Original Story acknowledges the film's innovative and timely storyline, while positive reviews from critics and audiences demonstrate the movie's ability to captivate and engage viewers. The film's exploration of political corruption and the importance of journalistic integrity remains relevant today, making Keeper of the Flame a classic worth revisiting. The movie's accolades serve as a testament to its enduring impact and significance in the world of cinema. In the film Keeper of the Flame, Frank Craven plays a significant role as the father of John Craven. Interestingly, Frank Craven's real-life son, John Craven, follows in his father's footsteps in this movie. Katherine Hepburn, who stars in Keeper of the Flame, has an impressive acting career. Her performance as Rose Sayer in The African Queen is ranked number 94 on Premiere Magazine's 100 Greatest Movie Characters of All Time. Daryl Hickman, who also appears in Keeper of the Flame, has a personal connection to the film industry. He is the ex-son-in-law of Verna Hilly and Frank Gill Jr. This family tie highlights the interconnectedness of the film industry, where relationships often play a significant role. In summary, Keeper of the Flame features notable performances from Frank Craven, Katherine Hepburn, and Daryl Hickman. The film's cast is not only talented but also interconnected, with family ties playing a significant role in the industry. In the production of Keeper of the Flame, the 1942 movie directed by George Cukor, a fascinating camaraderie formed between the cast and crew. Spencer Tracy, renowned for his method acting, would often engage in intense discussions with the director fine-tuning his character's nuances. These conversations sometimes continued offset, creating a palpable sense of dedication that permeated the production. Meanwhile, Katherine Hepburn, Tracy's co-star, was known for her independence and athleticism. During breaks, she could often be found practicing judo, surprising and delighting the crew with her physical prowess. Hepburn's spirited personality brought a unique energy to the set, further enriching the film's production. The film's screenwriter, Donald Ogden Stewart, was no stranger to Hollywood's golden age. A witty and erudite man, he would frequently engage in intellectual debates with the cast and crew, contributing to a stimulating and engaging atmosphere on set. 
Behind the scenes, the crew members also formed a close-knit community. The cinematographer, William H. Daniels, was a master of his craft, known for his innovative use of light and shadow. His expertise, combined with the artful set design, created a visually stunning backdrop for the film's dramatic narrative. Despite the long hours and intense work, the cast and crew of Keeper of the Flame maintained a positive and collaborative spirit. Their shared passion for storytelling and craftsmanship is evident in the film's enduring legacy, a testament to the power of creative collaboration in Hollywood's golden age. Katherine Hepburn, known for her iconic roles in films such as Bringing Up Baby and The African Queen, appeared in Keeper of the Flame. This classic film is just one of six that have been deemed culturally significant by the Library of Congress. Howard De Silva, who played Wilson in The Great Gatsby in 1949, took on the role of Meyer Wolfsheim in the 1974 version of the same film. This versatile actor's career spanned several decades. Margaret Weicherly, who also starred in Keeper of the Flame, was born in London in 1878 to physician James Lovett de Wolfe and Caroline Witcher Brecher. Her parents were married in Islington, London in 1877. Weicherly's heritage was a mix of Canadian and English, reflecting her parents' origins in Nova Scotia and Hampshire. Keeper of the Flame, a 1942 movie directed by George Cukor, remains significant in film history for its exploration of social issues and investigative journalism. The film noir, starring Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn, delved into the topic of hero worship and its potential dangers, which was quite progressive for its time. The movie's innovative approach to storytelling and thematic depth influenced future filmmakers. It sparked a greater interest in exploring socially relevant topics and the use of complex characters in film. The investigative journalism aspect of the storyline also inspired subsequent movies that featured similar themes, such as Citizen Kane released the same year. Keeper of the Flame left an indelible mark on the film industry, prompting filmmakers to delve deeper into the complexities of human nature and societal expectations. This classic set a precedent for thought-provoking cinema that encourages viewers to question their beliefs and values. In the film Keeper of the Flame, Katherine Hepburn delivers a noteworthy performance. Her impact on the industry extends beyond this single movie, as she served as a significant inspiration for Kate Bosworth's portrayal of Lois Lane in Superman Returns. Hepburn's final screen appearance was in Truman Chapauti's One Christmas in 1994, where she expressed a desire for a life with no regrets a sentiment she clearly embodied throughout her career. Hepburn's professional life was carefully managed. She appointed Cynthia McFadden as the executrix of her estate, demonstrating her trust and confidence in those she worked with. This classic film, Keeper of the Flame, is just one example of Hepburn's many contributions to the world of cinema. Her legacy continues to resonate, inspiring future generations of actors and actresses. In the film Keeper of the Flame, released in 1942, Two notable actors take the lead. Spencer Tracy ranked as the ninth greatest actor on the 50 greatest screen legends list by the American Film Institute, plays a significant role. On the other hand, Katherine Hepburn, known for her daring stunts, performed all her own stunts in the movie as the stunt woman never stood up straight enough. Regarding the casting of Pauline Lord as Mistress Forrest, an article in the July 22, 1942 edition of The Hollywood Reporter mentioned her selection. However, director George Cukor later revealed that the scene with Lord didn't work out, leading to her replacement by Margaret Witcherly. Catherine Hepburn's dedication to her craft is evident in her willingness to perform her stunts. Despite the availability of a stunt double, she chose to do them herself, ensuring that the scenes were executed precisely as she envisioned them. In the case of Pauline Lord, her casting as Mistress Forest and Keeper of the Flame seemed like a perfect fit. However, when the scene was shot, it didn't go as planned, leading to her replacement by Margaret Witcherly. Spencer Tracy's acting skills were well known in the industry, and his role in Keeper of the Flame showcases his talent. Meanwhile, Katherine Hepburn's dedication to her craft was unparalleled, as she demonstrated by performing all her stunts in the movie. Did Keeper of the Flame leave a lasting impression on you? We'd love to hear about your personal experiences and memories related to this classic film. How did it affect you personally or influence your perspective on cinema? Perhaps you were captivated by the gripping storyline, or maybe the exceptional performances of the actors left a mark on you. Whatever it may be, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Your engagement is vital to us. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations.
Let's keep the conversation going and delve deeper into the world of classic films. So, share your stories with us. Did you watch Keeper of the Flame when it first came out? Or was it a recent discovery for you? How has your view of the movie changed over time? We're excited to hear from you and learn more about your connection to this timeless film. So, don't be shy and let your voice be heard.